My name is Jack and I wanted to show you my lookbook. Some of you have may, maybe have seen a few pages from this book in person, um, but I wanted to go in depth uh, just quickly and flip through the pages to show you my style of photography, um, which lends towards using a lot of lighting equipment throughout the entire wedding day, and, um, and also touch on some elements of how this book is created, because uh, not all book companies are equal. Um, some can't print right through the center of the book. Uh, this is the left side of the book pages, um, so the right, the the seam in the middle of this book would be at the very right side page. Um, some some book companies have to leave what's called a gutter line, a little white strip that separates the photos. Um, the books that I create, you're, you can actually print right through the center of the book there, which is fantastic. Okay, so let's dive right in. Um, I wanted to, to tell you about these photos to help you define your style in, of wedding photography so you understand what you're seeing. So we have Annie and Ben here down at Lover's Point in Monterey and uh, we hung out uh, until the very end of the day. We got to this location knowing that we wanted to photograph this uh, beautiful strip of purple flowers that only blooms for about, I want to say a month or two in the late spring. And we waited until the sun went down past the horizon and uh, we balanced the tone in the sky in the background, um, which is the brightest portion of the image with a strobe that's on the couple. On the right we have a six photo panorama stitch. Uh, so what we did is we took six photos and stitched them all together in Photoshop and in the middle photo the reason why the bride or the bride in this case the uh, soon-to-be bride's dress pops and has so much color is because I put the camera on a tripod uh, on a 10 second timer pressed the button and ran through the sand up the rocks where I had a high-powered studio strobe waiting for me and I grabbed it at about the 8 second mark and held it right above the couple's head and you have to imagine this is 2 p.m. in the afternoon one of the most difficult times of the day to photograph and by using a high powered strobe I was able to blast them with a ton of light and remove myself in Photoshop to get you this dramatic effect. In this next photo we have a couple um, who met while riding motorcycles and who also works in sports so I pitched the idea of going with a more sports related theme and a sports related lighting where it's very dramatic. So we use smoke in a can, four lights to light up the bike and the couple in all different angles to achieve that look. On the right on the day of their wedding we have a strobe behind the couple lighting up the wall. We, I turned them sideways so we can turn them into a silhouette. And then about 40 feet in front of the couple we have that little patch of flowers and they're just right there on the ground. So I laid down my uh, on the ground to photograph this picture and I lit just the flowers uh, to give this dramatic look. Um, here again we have a strobed photo on the left and on the right upper photo. This is how I tend to shoot photos in the evening with a strobe and down below this is just a, an example of using uh, available light. Um, so my style is to use strobe so I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison so people can really see the difference between the two and choose the photo they like and define their style of photography. This photo here, the sun already went down over the horizon for several minutes. Um, this wedding ran a little bit late, but we have some tricks that we can use to extend how much light is in the sky at the end of the day. And we were, our backs were against the wall, but we were able to achieve all these photos in about a 10 minute span well after the sun already went down over the horizon. And uh, we did this by using Photoshop techniques and in-camera techniques along with a, an assistant on site that we removed in Photoshop. Same thing here. The veil whip ha actually has my assistant in the picture and I removed him in Photoshop. That's how we got the veil to look so perfect and flowing and, and looking natural. And then there's the hairspray shot in the third photo in the upper part of the page. And that hairspray shot was achieved by using a strobe in the background to light up the hairspray. All these photos have just a simple softbox to light them up. This page, the bottom left and upper right photos have strobe elements. The bottom left, um, we had a simple strobe in the foreground turned down very low just to give a moderate amount of light. And then we put one in the master bedroom that would bleed through the uh, the one of the doors to the uh, bathroom there at the Claremont Hotel in Berkeley. And in the upper right photo, we're using uh, backlighting and also one single strobe that's focused on just the garter to really show off this garter scene, our garter photo. Uh, here in the bottom middle, we have a northern lights effect where we swirl the light and we do this on the dance floor to kind of match the vibe of what's going on instead of just lighting up the whole scene. 
Um, if you see people dancing and it's really, really bright in the room, it just doesn't feel like it connects with what the scene feels like in person live. And in the bottom right, we also have a focused amount of light on the uh, bride's father. We're doing this um, through a tandem setup where I have my assistant on the floor lighting up the uh, lighting people while I'm photographing from far away. Here we're doing the same thing on the left side. It creates a very dramatic effect. We're doing it on the right as well, focused amount of light. It lends towards a very dramatic look. Um, in the upper left, I climbed a tree um, and have the uh, Ed, who's also an NFL player agent, hand me my camera and I photograph him straight down. I tend to find that I have a lot of athletes or former athletes hire me out since I uh, work in sports as well as shoot weddings. Um, here we have a former Golden State Warrior girl, uh, Tara. And on the far right photo, we have a four light setup, one to light the upper cage area of the gazebo, one to light the plant up in the background, one to light the couple up from behind to edge them out. So you can see that little kiss of light behind their head that creates separation from the background and then one in front to light them up. The kissing shot in the back of the car has a single light in front of them. That's what's allowing you to see the outline of her body. Um, here we have a strobe, a little, just a simple small pocket strobe in the upper left. There's not much room to work with when you're shooting inside of a car or trying to light the inside of a car, but we're able to achieve a soft look of light. We have a soft box on the bottom left and in the middle at the, um, uh, where is that? The, uh, Golden Gate Park, Stowe Lake. Um, we use a high powered strobe right in the middle of the afternoon, probably three o'clock where it's very, very bright out. We put them in the shade under some trees on the opposite side of where the sun is at and we balance the background light with the foreground light. The foreground light is my strobe and here we have another six photo panorama stitch in the bottom middle. We have another strobe photo on the bottom right at the Palace of Fine Arts. Here's another strobe photo. We're strobing the couple uh, against the tree so we can see the, the flare in the sun. We're balancing the brightest part of the scene which is the sun on the couple so we can see that effect. Um, here we have a strobed element on the upper right. This is well after sunset and we're still able to achieve um, tone in the sky by uh, Photoshop techniques and lighting and a few tricks. We have another six photo panorama stitch at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel in the penthouse suite in the upper left there. Upper right, we have another focused beam of light on the dance floor. The whole room at this point, you can see everything across the board, but we're making it look like there's just a, a pin light on uh, the groom. In the bottom right, we have, I'm holding the veil with my left hand, my assistant's holding the uh, veil on the right side, and then I have a, um, a softbox on the couple there at the Palace, Palace of Fine Arts. This is another couple that were professional athletes, bodybuilder, and a Cuban professional baseball player. Um, some strobe elements there. We strobe the couple in the middle at the bottom of the stairs from underneath the stairs. My assistant's down there. Um, so this this is pretty much my lookbook, and it every page shows some strobe photography. Um, I hope this helps you define your style of photography that you like and helps you be more informed when you're interviewing wedding photographers. Thanks for following along.